guys in today's video I'm going to be talking all about the sustainable brands that I have tried and love whether it be brands that I've been using for a long time or brands that I've recently discovered that I think are worth mentioning it's gonna be all about sustainable fashion slow fashion my thoughts on it how these brands are making their impact and things like that so yeah if you guys are interested just keep watching so i just want to preface this video because i feel like i need to because i know that this is a very touchy subject for a lot of people and i completely and 100 percent understand why but i'm not perfect take everything that i'm saying with a grain of salt these companies that i'm talking about may not be a hundred percent perfect either they're just really trying a lot harder than other brands that there are out there to make a good ecological impact and no matter how small their impact is they're constantly evolving and constantly trying to get better and the more time passes the better they will become a lot of these companies are much smaller than all of these fast fashion companies and if you guys aren't familiar with this terminology you guys can google what fast fashion is as opposed to slow fashion what sustainability is all of that i really don't want this video to be a million years long because i want to talk about all of the companies so yes let's get started so the first brand that i want to talk about which i've talked about a million times on my channel is everlane pretty much everything that they create is like a basic it's meant to be like a staple in your wardrobe you know they have everything from shoes to shirts to blazers to jeans they have everything you can think of I have a purse from them I have had nothing but positive experiences with them and I have purchased from their company time and time again so this is my favorite shirt and I'm gonna mention my favorite piece from each company throughout this video this is just their boxy tee i don't believe they have this exact color anymore this is like in the color bone which is like an off white i think but the white one is obviously very very similar to this one i think that they're like the most transparent out of all of the companies that i'm going to talk about they don't care you know they'll tell you how much they paid for something and how much they're profiting off it everything is ethically made you know they take you into their factories they have something called transparency tuesday which is like a series on their stories on instagram where they have their customers ask them questions and they answer all of the questions that you may have on tuesdays which i think is incredible i really really love and appreciate companies that take the time to listen to their consumers another thing that i really appreciate about everlane is that their fits cater to like everyone okay whether you're like a curvier person or you're very thin and you don't have a lot of curves like their pieces are meant to fit pretty much everyone and that is just something that i appreciate so 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 much from companies because i can't tell you how many times i've come across companies who just cater to like one specific body so yes if you guys know me, you know that I love Everlane and I 100% recommend them. Next, I have Reformation and it was very hard for me to narrow down my favorite piece from them. So I'm just going to show you my latest piece that I've purchased from them because I just love everything that they do. Reformation makes some of the most beautiful, feminine, elegant, stunning pieces ever so reformation uses recycled and eco-friendly fabrics a lot of these companies that i'm going to talk about use eco-friendly fabrics obviously that's part of the reason why they're sustainable but they use something called dead stock fabric for a lot of their pieces and what these dead stock fabrics are are just fabrics that other companies throw away pretty much they're fabrics that would end up in some kind of landfill and what companies like reformation do is sort through these fabrics and use them for their collections for every season they come out with like a new collection and they don't really bring it back a lot because they use these dead stock fabrics that aren't like readily available so yes they make beautiful beautiful pieces i absolutely love almost everything that reformation creates their jeans are stunning as well i've bought everything from regular tees to jeans to glasses on their site and i've loved everything so personally i've never had a problem with reformation i will say that their sizing is a little weird <laughs> like sometimes i'm a small sometimes i'm a medium sometimes i'm a 27 sometimes i'm a 28 in their jeans like their sizing is kind of all over the place so that's the only thing but so far everything that i've tried i've absolutely loved from them 
This next company is La Causa. I've also talked about this company a million times on my channel. I have two trousers from them and I just really, really love the way that their trousers look. I love the look of trousers, but for my body type, trousers can look a little weird. So I like them to be high-waisted. I like them to still, you know, flatter my figure. So I really love their trousers. They are just some of the most flattering trousers I've ever used. These are currently my favorite they're the corduroy trousers i forget the name of these but of course i will link everything down below they're just beige corduroy trousers very high-waisted la causa just means the cause if you guys didn't know what that means so they're an la-based company which creates everything in los angeles california and they also use eco-friendly materials and i feel like they're not as known like they're they're like a lot less known than some of the other companies that I'm gonna talk about, but I really do think that they're worth mentioning because they have such, such beautiful pieces. So speaking of pants, I have my beloved redone jeans. Today I'm gonna to talk about my white ones, but you guys know that I also love my regular like medium wash ones. And this is one of my favorite jean companies. And I've always thought that this company was so cool because what they do is basically pretty much the same thing that reformation and all these other companies that use dead stock materials do but instead of dead stock fabrics they use discarded jeans they reuse them and they redo them as their name suggests and they just create these beautiful fitting jeans with that said my thighs feel very very compressed in them so i do have to do like squats throughout my entire house and really sort of like stretch them out when i'm gonna wear them because yeah my thighs feel very compressed that's the only thing and if i were to go up a size it won't fit my waist if i go up a size so then i would just have to take it in you know i'm a size 28 i can fit in it but i have to like walk around in them for a little bit and really break them in in order to have them fit comfortably so just keep that in mind other than that i really love these jeans i've only tried their stovepipe jeans which is this one and the other one that i have which are meant to be like a straight leg jean i think that the majority Majority of the jeans that they recycle are Levi's as well so yeah you guys probably know how durable Levi's jeans are so these are very very durable jeans this next company is the newest sustainable company that I've tried and they are called 07 days and they actually reached out to me to pick out a piece from them and I picked this beauty out it's just like a peplum top which usually isn't my favorite cup but for some reason this one just sits very very beautifully on the body and it looks stunning and it has like these very subtle bell sleeves i'm not a huge fan of very like extravagant bell sleeves but i really like these and my favorite thing about this is the print so it's like a checked print but it's just so uniquely done and the mustard color mixed with like the ivory is everything i am obsessed with this top the back looks like this it has like the little button closure and they also use dead stock fabrics and eco-friendly materials and yeah they have such beautiful and unique pieces on their website i think that they're definitely worth checking out this is so nicely made too like the material feels so 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 beautiful and like i said it just sits very nicely on the body the construction is just stunning the next brand that i want to talk about is girlfriend collective and i've mentioned them before in a favorites video i think and if you guys know me you know how much i love sportswear uh all i wear is gym clothes so i really really appreciate beautifully crafted unique and very nicely fitting gym clothes or just sportswear in general so I needed to mention these guys because not only do they have beautiful designs and do they fit nicely, but out of all of the sustainable practices that I've talked about in this video, like what each of these companies do and where they get their materials from, I think that these are my favorite. Like what they do is, is so cool to me. Their leggings and their bras are made from recycled polyester and how they make this polyester is from recycled water bottles so they work with a company i think the company is in taiwan it's like a small family-owned company i believe and what they do is 
collect water bottles. So they recycle water bottles from beaches or oceans or pretty much wherever they can find water bottles. They separate them into different kinds of plastic that can be used for different things. So then Girlfriend Collective gets these water bottles and turns them into PET. And this is where they get the polyester from to make their leggings and their bras. So I think that is so, so, so cool. They also use a process very similar to this, but for their nylon, they use recycled fishing nets and other waste that would otherwise harm a lot of marine life. So I think that that is so awesome and one of the coolest ways to create beautiful garments, like one of the most impactful and beautiful ways to create, you know, clothing. In order for them to make their pieces, they literally have to recycle. That money is going towards them recycling in order to get their materials, in order to create something that you purchased. The more money you give these small companies, the bigger they're gonna become, the more resources they're gonna have, the more recycling they're gonna do, the bigger the impact they're gonna make. So just think about that when you go and you purchase from these companies and you second guess your decision on spending so much money because I know that these companies are expensive, but <laughs> It takes a lot to create these little things, you know? So that's why they are more expensive. So I just wanted to say that really quick. Moving on. And speaking of good impacts that these companies are making, I wanna talk about Mi Solo. I have these shoes right here, which are some of my favorite shoes to wear during the summer. These are what I wear whenever I need to wear like heels, like in a casual setting sort of because they're so comfortable, okay? These are the most comfortable wedges that I own. They're not very high or anything, but they still make your legs look long. They still make your legs look elegant and beautiful. The bottom is wood. And I've also purchased shoes for Roger on a solo. I actually got him a pair of uh, boots for Christmas and he is in love with them. He says they're the most comfortable shoes that he owns. So he's very, very happy with them. So I definitely recommend these shoes, not only for women, but also for men. For every pair of shoes that is sold from Nisolo, a contribution is actually made to help protect forests in the Amazon. And I also believe that they recycle shoes, like you can send them your older shoes, and they pretty much give like these very small companies jobs by providing shoes for them to rework and sell. So I think that that's really cool as well. So I think that they're an amazing company. They have amazing designs, very beautiful designs. So again, I know that they are expensive, but you can split the payment if you qualify for a firm. Finally, last but not least, I saved my most worn item in this entire video for last, and they are my Veja sneakers. If you guys know me, you know how much I've used these sneakers ever since I got them. I'm obsessed with them, okay? I'm obsessed. I really love the off-white on the bottom. I love the white canvas. I love the black V. So they use raw materials sourced from organic farming to make all of their shoes. And I think they even have a vegan collection. So I really love them. I've used them literally every day like almost every day since I got them and they've held up fine. You know, they're very reminiscent of like Converse, but they have more of like a vintage twist to them that is so unique and so cool. It's sort of edgy, but it's still very classic and it doesn't look like too edgy. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes when I put my slip-ons or my old school Vans, like sometimes it's a little too edgy for my outfit. This I feel like I can wear with pretty much like casual elegant outfit and it doesn't look like too edgy or too, 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 like I'm trying too hard, if, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but yeah. I think it's the color combination. Absolutely love these. So I'm like constantly trying to discover new sustainable brands and just slowly convert my wardrobe to a more sustainable one. So whenever I gather enough to make another one of these videos, I will make another one of these videos because I think it's very important to raise awareness on these companies because a lot of the times they are smaller companies, you know, and they don't have the resources to like market themselves as much as bigger companies 
fast fashion companies you know these companies that you see everywhere so yeah that's everything for this video i'm going to link all of the references for everything that i mentioned in this video i'm also going to link all of the pieces if i can still find them down below in the description so be sure to check it out and i also found a website i'm not sure if it's a website or a blog but they went ahead and listed like hundreds of sustainable brands by letter so i'm also going to leave that linked in the description as well feel free to leave links to your favorite sustainable brands so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video